for what you're doing, for where you're building, what's the optimum assembly that will perform hydrothermally, that you can build affordably, and that you can recreate with precision and with accuracy so that you're able to get the performance out of the assembly that you need for passive house, both in terms of air tightness and thermal continuity. Now, what exactly that assembly is, I can't tell you because I don't know your exact situation, but I guarantee you there's a whole plethora of them out there to, to draw from. I'm going to give you one other piece of advice, and I've seen people fall into this trap. There are people who sell building materials that will offer you a free hydrothermal analysis of their materials. I would say thank you very much, but I'm going to actually pay someone to give me a third party, non-biased hydrothermal analysis. Because these hydrothermal analyses, they're very complex. So many shiny buttons and knobs in, these, in this thing, and it's so easy to click or not click something that you can really mess it up. So what I do when I have a new assembly that I'm looking at, if I have a team I'm working with somewhere in the country, I don't know the, the climate, I don't know, we go to a third party. I don't, you know, like, hey, the guy who wants to sell me the insulation will do a hydrothermal. Now, I really appreciate it, but I'd rather pay and have somebody else run it for me who's a third party and can really run it through and tell me, is this a good assembly for this climate? I don't even trust myself. To, I mean, I'll do it myself and then I want it checked. I'll pay them to check it.